the whole 1400 degrees is kind of cool. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so there goes my camera. Hello, everybody. I'm Evil Rabbit. We have something different. Moser Racing did release their new truck wheel and can't thank Moser Racing enough for sending one of these out here to me for some testing. Now, it is not something I normally have. I don't normally do truck games or anything like that, but you know, the wheel does look super awesome. We have so many controls on this thing. We have dials, we have some thumb knobs, we have like turn signals, headlights, high beams, speedometers, wiper, like a home button, volume control, and of course, you know, nothing on the back other than a plug-in for other wheel bases. We're gonna take that off. We have, you know, Moses quick release, which I do like that this is flat black. I do like the uh, flat black um, quick release on this. So this wheel is definitely fun to have in my arsenal of Moses racing stuff. And you know, we're gonna do it in Evil Rabbit fashion. You know, we're gonna send this thing but not in a truck game. We are gonna drift with it, but with the wheel, was also sent over their truck mount bracket. So you know we're gonna be putting this on the chassis and trying to mount this thing up and drift it like an actual, not this way, like an actual truck wheel. So a few other things that come in the uh, box with this wheel, which is kind of cool. It comes with a whole bunch of different, you know, sheets for customizing the looks of it with different kinds of uh you know striping and all color combinations so you can kind of set it up how you really want to so we actually have a cable over here that's hooked up to my moza hub and we're going to plug this wheel in and we're going to take a look at all of the cool lights that it have it does of course have a uh you know rpm light but we got to do the uh gotta do the satisfying tear there we go. So we do have an RPM light, but we also have, that's been going in, we have the ability to change the color of all of our controls, just like every other Moza base and everything like that. So we can set, you know, all these different color parameters. I think we're gonna, I think we might actually do it. Kind of set like that a little bit just something totally different so it is kind of cool that we have all of that and of course like i said this wheel can actually be run you know kind of on any wheelbase with it being plugged in if you had the right quick release setup so we're gonna go get this put on the chassis and we're gonna try and set this up and i just so happen to have a drift semi that uh we're gonna go full send with in true evil rabbit fashion new truck wheel big thank you to Moza racing for hooking me up with it and we're gonna go full send and see what we can do so we're here in a set of Corsa with a drift semi. Now we're going to go full send with this. So we do have it angled on here in the angled bracket that Moses sent. Um, you do have to set your center to be reversed. So you just go in the pit house settings, turn it how you want it and hit center. So, cause it's going to be 180 out if you've had it sit here before. So it's a little unorthodox cause these two bars down here for the way I have my setup, I would have to raise the my plate up and then slide this down so my knees won't hit it. But for today's video, I can actually still get all to my pedals, so we're good. We're gonna get the wheel put on. It's kind of like right here, I kinda feeling like a big rig driver right now. Kind of very different, very unorthodox to what I'm used to. Normally I'm used to drifting this way, so this could feel a little bit different. But you know, we're gonna go full send with it and we're gonna see what we can do. We do have this drift truck, which has, I think, like a thousand some horsepower. So we should have plenty of power. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got plenty of power. Chuck it in here. You can see some uh, test lines of the truck. When I was trying to make sure that the truck had a decent setting in it. Oh, this thing is fun. And I'm actually quite impressed 
with the fact that it doesn't feel, it feels different. Don't get me wrong, but it's not crazy weird to have the wheel set up this way. And I feel like the people that play, oh, Oh, no, we're gonna, we're gonna opposite lock that. Okay. The people that play like Euro Truck Simulator or maybe even BMNG or Farming Simulator, anything involves like a truck style wheel. This thing is super cool. And uh, it's uh, quite, quite different drifting here at Highland Drifts with a truck wheel. But you knew we had to uh, do this in kind of Evil Rabbit style fashion, not just, you know, play Euro Truck Simulator right away because that's not kind of what we do here on the channel. You know, we started off drifting, you know, we're just going to drift it. We're going to send it like we do almost everything. Oh, come on. Yeah, we got it. Now that the tires are nice and hot, we could probably do this in fourth gear. And this car is. This car, this, uh. This drift semi is something else. Doing little clutch stabs. Utilizing. Our sequential shifter we are on the R12 and this is just on my drift settings and this feels super cool oh wall tap the oh, whole wall tap wall tap just a tap we're good we are losing all control we have no rear tires yeah we have absolutely no rear tires Never thought you'd see a uh, them I doing skids like this here on the channel. Ooh, dirt. Dirt's weird. I don't like this view. My pivot view. Oh, I can't see anything this way though. This is very entertaining though. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're not gonna camera the cameras. Off. My uh, wheel cam's in a much different position than I'm used to. It's kind of right by my elbow. This is really totally unorthodox, but you know, I think what we need to do is I think we need to bump the rotation up. Because I mean, a truck wheel, we're gonna try and pull up our Moza, our pit house software. Come on, there you are. So we're gonna go into wheel, we're gonna go into settings. And I don't know what a normal Rock rotation is, but we're gonna go 1400. Oh, yeah, okay, it's probably a bad idea. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to rotate the wheel enough. We're definitely gonna find out 1400 degrees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, this is this is definitely a more way more fun than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> 1400 degrees of rotation. Oh, wrong one. I meant to pull the handbrake. Oh no. I wish I had a little more rotation there. This is totally weird. It's it's kind of messing with my brain because I'm so used to, like I said, vertical, you know, the normal style of steering wheel. And now I put 1400 degrees of rotation. I just gotta let the wheel just float through my hands. But we're, we're getting it though. I'm actually very impressed with this. Oh. The whole 14. 100 degrees is kind of cool. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so there goes my camera. Oh, man. I think that's going to do it for this episode here. I was at a course of Moza Racing's new truck wheel. <laughs> back here. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.